Greetings. My name is Dr. Waddell Brooks, Sr., your host, and this is Community Focus. Ladies and gentlemen, we're very fortunate this morning to have with us Evangelist David Southern uh, from Jackson, uh, Mississippi. Good morning, uh, Evangelist Southern. Good morning to you, Mr. Brooks, and how are you? Fantastic. And we're going to tell people, tell people uh, let's see, we have an uh, audience, audience of about, about 850,000 people, people, but okay. I don't know how many up many this up Sunday morning at 5 a.m. listen to the program, but I understand we have a pretty good audience. Okay, well, that's great. Now, we're going to start right away because we only got 30 minutes to tell okay. our listening audience God's plan for salvation. God's one plan for salvation. Okay. He only has one, Mr. Brooks. Okay. Okay. Just one. And it's for the whole universe. It's for the Jews, the Gentiles, and the Greeks. Yes, sir. For the poor and the rich. Okay. In you other, got that? Yeah, in other yeah, words, we have one, one faith, faith, one Lord, and one, and one baptism. baptism. Yes, sir. That's Ephesians. Four and five. It says one Lord, one faith, and one baptism. And Jude says, Jude 1 and 20, says, build it up in yourselves, your most holy faith. Now, remember when it says holy faith, mm-hmm. it named what type of faith it should be. Mm-hmm. Jude did. Jude 1 and 20. It said, build it up in yourselves, your most holy faith. God has not called us to be baptism. He didn't call us to be Methodism. Mm. He didn't call us to be Catholicism. He called us into holiness. And if we look at First uh, Thessalonians mm-hmm. 4, 7, and 8, it says God has called us not unto uncleanliness, but unto holiness. And then it went on to say, he that despises, despises not man, but God, this one plan is a straight and narrow way, and few there be that's going to find it. It is a blessing when God shows his mercy to draw you to into his one plan. All right? Okay. Okay? Ladies and gentlemen, again, we're talking with Evangelist David Southern, and he's volunteered his time to... Uh, 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 let, us let us know, know God's, God's plan, plan for salvation. For salvation. Um, yes. What I would like, would to, like to know, know is that why do we have so many so denominations? Many That's a good question, Mr. Brooks. Now, uh, John said they went out from us mm-hmm. because they was not of us. Okay. So they could be manifest. That's First John 2 and 19. Okay. And then as we go over to uh, the book of uh, Second Corinthians, uh, the 11th chapter, the Bible said, prove all things, hold fast to that which is good. Now we got one church, and it started on the day of Pentecost. Okay? You got that? Okay. It started on the day of Pentecost. That one Lord, that one faith, and that one baptism started on the day of Pentecost. Mm-hmm. All right? Okay. Now, we have other uh, uh, things that is not churches, but they're organizations. Oh, okay. Started by man. That's the difference between the church and an organization. Mm-hmm. Okay? You, an organization, you can name it whatever you want to name it, and you can do whatever you want to do. Mm-hmm. But God called us into the one plan. Now, Isaiah 35 and 18 said, which was prophesied by the prophet Isaiah, Mm-hmm. And highway shall be there, and a way, and the way shall be called the way of holiness. Now, uh, to order to get a chance to be on the right hand side of God, Hebrews twelve and fourteen said, "Follow peace with all men, and holiness without which no man shall see the Lord." Oh, it's tight, but it's right, Mister Book. It, we just got to do what it says. Uh, I'm sitting down. I have a holy book in my lap. Okay. It says holy. Okay. That's what it says. I'm studying it to become more and more holy, more and more like Jesus Christ. Okay? It's type. Now, let me get, read this for you. Okay. Praise the Lord. It said, but 
What I do, I will do, that I may cut off occasion from them with desire occasion, that wherein they glory, that they may be found even as we are. For such are false apostles, deceitful workers, transforming themselves to apostles of Christ. Mm -hmm. Then he went on to say, no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Therefore, it is no great thing if his ministers also be transformed as ministers of righteousness, who in shall be called into their work, destruction. Okay? Mm -hmm. So Satan then transformed himself to an angel of light. He's a copycat. He want to do whatever God do. God started the church 33 A.D. after his death. All right? Okay. God, just a good guy. He told his apostles to go back to Jerusalem from Bethlehem till they be endured with power from on high. Remember, in the 16th chapter, uh, the birth of the, uh, in the, in the seven, 16th chapter, and the uh, 16 and 17, 18 verses, the Lord gave the keys to Peter. And told Peter, what, I, what you're bound on earth will be bound in heaven. Mm. That I will give unto thee the keys to the kingdom of God. Peter had to unlock those doors for the Jews. He had to unlock those doors for the Gentiles. Mm -hmm. All right? Mm -hmm. So you see, Satan has transformed himself to an angel of light. So he got a plan of preachers, which is the broad way. The broad way you can be whatever you want to be. In other words, you're in the organization. Hallelujah. Whatever you want to be, you can be it. Mm -hmm. It's tight, but it's right. But it's not of God. Now, what, what, uh, uh, Peter has Peter to keep has his to keep eyes on Jesus on also because, because when he is walking on the water, he was okay. He was but okay, when he took his, his eyes away, away from, from Jesus, Jesus yes. he, started he started to sink. To he began to say he didn't have no Holy Ghost at that time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No Holy Ghost. When he denied Jesus, he didn't have no Holy Ghost. Okay. Are you got me? Now, why See, would he, why, why would he, why would he, deny, he deny Jesus and he saw he all the all things the that things Jesus had done? had done? Lack of faith. Lack of faith. It's because we have a lack of faith, too. Mm -hmm. We don't have enough faith in God. Hallelujah. Man going to fix up a plan where uh, God went to the cross for me, and, uh, and he, he shed of his blood. He showed <laughs> grace to all of us, and all I got to do is just confess, and now I'm saved. Now, a confession without a conversion is not salvation. Okay. Jesus told Peter, and then Luke, the 21st chapter, I don't know the particular verse, but he told Peter that Satan desires to sift you as wheat. But I pray for you, hallelujah, that your faith fail is not. When thou art converted, he wasn't converted. Now, listen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When thou art converted, send the brethren. He became converted on the day of Pentecost. Mm -hmm. All right? It's tight, but it's right. You have to dot every eye and cross every T. First Thessalonians 5 and 21 said, prove all things. Hold fast to that which is good. Mm -hmm. Man-made things, is, you can, it's not going to stand before when you stand before God. Now, somebody said, if you go to heaven, I'm going too. I don't ever deny nobody that. Say mm -hmm. they're not going. Uh, they're going to be the righteous, going to be on the right side. And the unrighteous is going to be on the left. We all got to stand before the judgment seat of, of God. But I want to hit, stand before him when he say, Thy faith is said, we are done. Enter to my kingdom. It's my understanding that God is not going to send anyone to heaven or hell. That's a choice that everyone has to make. That's the choice that you make. Now, I'm glad you mentioned that, Ms. Uh, Dr. Brooks. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you what Jesus said. Okay. Hallelujah. Jesus told his apostles, hallelujah, type, and 70 more. Mm -hmm. He said, he that hear you, hear me. And he that despises you, despises him that sent me. Mm -hmm. That's one witness. You go to St. Luke 15 and 20. Uh, not St. Luke. That's St. John 15 and 20. He said that, if they kept my saying, they would keep yours also. Now, how many people today choosing to keep what the apostles told? Mm -hmm. On the day of Pentecost, uh, Acts 2, 42, it said the, the, the believers stepped fast in the apostles' doctrine. The apostles' doctrine began in the book of Acts, the first chapter, all the way down to the 28th chapter. That's the apostles' doctrine. Now, you have the four gospels, uh, Mark, 
Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Okay. Uh, this is why Jesus taught uh, the, the multitude and the disciples. The mystery was not given unto the world, uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Dr. Brooks. The, the mystery was given to a chosen people. Mm -hmm. uh, let me tell you what one of the apostles, the apostles asked Jesus. Jesus was speaking to the apostles of the 13th chapter, verses 10 and 11. Hallelujah. He, uh, uh, Jesus asked, uh, the apostles, the disciples, Jesus said, so why do you speak to uh, the multitudes in parables? Hallelujah. And other the world in parables. Jesus has said to uh, his disciples, said it's not for them to know the mystery of the kingdom of God, but it's for you to know. Mm -hmm. All right? So he pulled them over to the side and taught them the mystery. Then you look at Colossians, the letter he written to the church, Colossians 1 and 26, it said that the mystery was given to the saints. Mm -hmm. All right? And the saints, a group of baptized believers, repented of their sins, went down in water in Jesus' name, God filled with God's precious Holy Ghost with the evidence of speaking in tongues as the Spirit of God give utterance. Okay? Mm -hmm. That is the body, the leaders of the church. That they are the church. Okay? Now, the house of prayer is not the church. The church goes to the house of prayer. Okay. Every building, the building, they got on their church name, this name, that name. Mm -hmm. But the church is a, is, a, is a group of baptized believers in the name of Jesus Christ. They're filled with the Holy Ghost. They're born of the water in the, of, in the Spirit, like the Bible says. Okay? So it's just a place of worship. It's a place of, it's a place of worship where the believers, those that have been born again, to come and worship. So we enter to worship and depart to serve. Yes. So how many yes. people depart to serve? Just a few, sir. Just a few. It's not going to be about a few that's going to go back with the Lord when he comes, but it's a remedy. It's a, 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 a small amount. Mm -hmm. But uh, the Bible said, John said, there's going to be a number that no man can number. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because I don't know how many down in the graves, when Jesus went to the uh, went on the cross, crucified, he went down in the grave and preached to the spirit that was down in the grave that was captured by the devil. Mm -hmm. Okay? Hallelujah. De the devil was down there in hell, and he wants a human to be there too. This is why hell has enlarged itself. You'll find this in uh, Isaiah 5 and 14. Now, in order to come to the Lord, the Lord has to draw you. Okay. Everybody, you just can't jump up and say, I'm going to go serve God. How do they, but now, now get, don't get me wrong. That's first got to be a willing mind. God got to have to put in your mind that I want to be saved. Mm -hmm. Jesus told Nicodemus that he must be born again of the water and of the spirit. That's the third chapter of the book of St. John. Okay? Mm -hmm. At this time, Nicodemus didn't know how to be born again. Okay? It's tight, but it's right. Now, this is a great controversy concerning God's one plan of salvation. Mm -hmm. Jesus said, all power is to be given unto me. Uh, this is Matthew 28 and 18. Mm -hmm. Okay? He said, all power has been given unto me after he rose, hey, hallelujah, after he rose from the grave. All power has been given unto me in heaven and earth. And he told them, go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. At this particular time, Jesus, uh, the, the apostles didn't know who the Father was. Mm. Isn't that something? God came down through 42 generations. Hallelujah. You'll find this in the book of Matthew, all right, okay. the first chapter. 42 generations. And he came down, got into Mary as a babe. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. It's tight, but it's right. You know, that's another question. Praise the Lord God, just a good God. A lot of people don't believe that he's God. They believe he's just a little boy that's sitting beside the Father. When Jesus said, he said that, uh, He's going to sit on the right hand of God. Yeah. That means right hand of power. You'll find that in the book of, uh, of Matthew 26 and 40, 64. Oh, it's tight, but it's right. Mm -hmm. You got to prove it. The Bible said prove it. Prove it. All right? Let me go back to Matthew. Go ye therefore, teach all them, baptize them in the name of the Father and of the Son. Now, you, Mr. Mr. Brook, you are educated. Mm -hmm. All right? Mm -hmm. I do believe that. You're Dr. Brooks. Okay. It's tight, but it's right. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. It said, baptize them in the name, N-A-M-E, single, 
Mm-hmm. Of the superfluous of faith. And it's a conjunction. What is the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost? I want to go back to uh, when the apostles did not know this. Something that Jesus spoke to his apostles. Let us take Matthew 11 and 27. Mm-hmm. Those of you that have your Bibles, go to St. Matthew 11 and 27. Jesus said, no man knows the Father, saves the Son. And no man knows the Son, saves the Father. And he too, who said the Son, revealed him. You know, that caught my attention. I didn't have the Holy Ghost at that time. Mm-hmm. I said, what is Jesus talking about? Oh, I ever know that he was the Son. What are you talking about? Nobody know who he is? He was letting us know then, the, the, the followers and his disciples. Y'all don't even know who I am. Okay? Y'all don't know who I am. How do you this type of right? Then one of his disciples, after he rose from the grave, asked him a question. And his name was the Apostle Philip. Okay? He asked him a question. He said, that, Jesus, you talking about the Father? I'm going to just paraphrase that. Mm-hmm. The Father is The Father is said, we need to know who is the Father. And the Father is God, and God is the Spirit. Mm-hmm. And Jesus just said, my Father was in heaven. He said, Philip, have I been so long time with you, yet thou hast not known me, Philip? He that have seen me, have seen the Father. How sayest thou then, show us the Father? It was, then he went on and said, the 10th verse. This is, this is uh, 14, hallelujah, 8, 9, and 10. All right? Mm-hmm. He said, hey, God, just good. I feel my help, Mr. Mr. Brooks. Go ahead. I feel my help. That uh-huh. Holy Ghost down on the inside. Okay. Like, he says, it is not the I that speaketh to you, but the Father that dwells on the inside. All right? Mm-hmm. So God was down on the inside speaking through that body. And when they put him on the cross, God got out of the body. Death is the separation of the spirit in the body. Okay. He went down in the grave and preached to the spirits that was there, had Isaac and Jacob and them captive down there. Okay? It's tight, but it's right. God, just a good God. He's good all about it. And those that heard his voice rose from the grave. All right? Find proof of it. Go to the book of Matthew 27. Hallelujah. 50 mm-hmm. to 50, 51, 52, and 53. Hallelujah. And then you pick it up in, uh, again in the, in the book of Acts, the 13th chapter. Hallelujah, it's tight. But, and some of them came, came from the grave and walked up, up and down Jerusalem. Mm. Isn't that something? That would let us know that the dead do rise. Well, we, have to, the, we have to, uh-huh. uh, people have a, a, a little, they're a little confused about the Trinity. Now, the word Trinity is not in the Bible, uh-huh. but God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost. Yes. And let me explain that to you, Mr. Brooks. Okay. Oh, it's tight, but it's right. Okay. He's Father in creation. Mm-hmm. He's Son in redemption. Okay. He's Holy Ghost in us. Oh, let great. me give you a verse. Jesus told his disciples, said, I dwell with you, and I shall be in you. Okay? Okay. He said, I dwell with you, and I shall the 14th chapter of the book of St. John. He said, I dwell with you, and I shall be in you. Okay? Okay. It's tight, but it's right. And people need to get on, uh, on, uh, 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 without, that's a controversial issue, but it should, it's not a controversy to those that the Lord draws. That's another controversy. Hallelujah. It's tight, but it's right. Let, let, let me finish that. St. John 1 and 1. It says, in the beginning was the Word. Okay. And the Word was with God. And it said the Word was God. Okay. okay. Then you look at the ninth and the 10th verse. You'll find what it says of the same chapter. So he came to his own, and his, and his own received him not. Mm-hmm. Then you look at the 14th verse. Let's go back to the word. It says the word was God. Now this is what it says. It said the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. And we beheld his glory, the glory of the only begotten of the Father, the Son of God. Okay? You look at St. John 3.16. It said God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in should not perish but have everlasting life. Okay, that's St. John. You go to 1 John 3 and, and 16, it'll read like this. It says, hereby, we, hereby perceive we the love of God. God laid down his life for us. Mm-hmm. Is that a contradiction? No, it's not. Hallelujah. 
God laid his life down for us. Now that's love. He right. put on a fleshly body. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. So he could go to the cross and die because you can't kill a spirit. All right? It's tight, but it's right. Now, why did God, God send his only begotten son? Because he was the only he himself was the only one could take away sin. God is the only one could take away sin. Mm -hmm. The the ghost, the blood, the blood of bulls and goats could not take away sin. Okay. You'll find Hebrew uh, nine twenty two that Hallelujah. Without the shedding of blood, there can be no remissions of sin. The bloods of bulls and goats. It took pure blood to take away sin. All right. Now. You with humans, if you have common knowledge with a woman, she gets pregnant. You have three bodies. With God, God impregnate Mary. You got one body. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, he's he's Father, Son, and Holy Ghost all in one. You look at uh, First John, uh, the fifth chapter, uh, verses seven and eight. It's tight, but it's right. Said so there are three red bad records in heaven: the Father the Word, and the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. And these three are one. They are one. Ain't no two. They are one. And then you go back to Ecclesiastes, before Jesus came on the scene, Mr. Mr. Uh, Dr. Brooks. Mm -hmm. And David wrote, the wise man wrote, uh, 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 Ecclesiastes, that would be the, the, uh, Solomon, the wise man. Okay. Hallelujah. Wrote and said, hallelujah, it's tight, but it's right. He said he neither have nor son nor brother. He wasn't aware of it. It's tight, but it's right. God, just a good God. He tried. Because he tried. God made that body and declared that body to be his son. It was no little boy sitting up there with it. Okay. okay. Right. Then you go back to the world, who people are in the Trinity. What is this talking about when it says in Genesis 1, 20, says, let us make man in our own image. That was talking about wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. God is wisdom, he's knowledge, and he's understanding. Let me go to another verse first. The word of God is don't lie. The liars, all liars, uh, go be, have their part and make a fire. And the devil is the father of liars. The devil comes to trick you. Okay? Uh, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. All of that's God. Then you go to Saint uh, Isaiah 44 and 24. Mm -hmm. The God says he said that God made the world all by himself. He didn't need no help. He spoke the word, and it, it, it came into existence. Oh, it's tight, but it's right. Ladies and gentlemen, again, we're again, talking we're with talking Evangelist David, David Southern, and he is uh, from the royal priesthood. Yes, sir. I need to get that, too, Mr. 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 <laughs> Brooks. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Let me tell you where that's found at. Okay. Uh, somebody said, well, I'm a priest. Just to say I'm a priest, uh -huh. but when you repent, and go down and walk in Jesus' name. Okay. And get filled with God's precious Holy Ghost. You become a priest. All right. I, I can go to God. But I, say, I don't have to go to the priest. Hallelujah. Let me tell you why that's found there. First Peter 2 and 9. Oh, it's tight, but it's right. Well, God, well, 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 well the priest got to go to someone too, right? Uh, we, yeah. can't, we can't go to the priest. No, sir. No, sir. The priest got to go to God. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. It's tight, but but first, before he become a priest, he need to repent. Okay. He need to go down and water in Jesus. He get, need to get saved. Okay. Then he become a priest. He ain't a priest until he do this. Okay. He can't be a priest. Hallelujah. It's tight, but it's right. And ain't repented of his sin. Went down and water and Jesus. Got filled with the Holy Ghost. Somebody's lying. Did you hear me? And Jesus is Jesus the only, is the mediator. only mediator. Yes, sir. Between God and name. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm It's tight, but it's right. Men have been baptized into Christ, has put on Christ. Christ means he's the anointed one. The Jews were looking for the Messiah. Okay. And Jesus is the Messiah. Okay. Now, let me, let me say something else to you. I don't know whether you're going to uh, get to us, uh, this particular uh, statement or not. I don't know. We're going to we we do we best we can, and we're going to do a part two. Okay. <laughs> but let me, how, many more, how many more minutes we have, sir? Oh, about three. about three. Okay, let me say this right quick. I'm going I'm to I'm quote it. Okay. In the book of St. John, uh, 5, 46, and 47. Jesus said, Moses wrote his name. Ain't that something? Mm -hmm. I don't see Jesus' name nowhere in uh, the book of, five books of Moses. So when Jesus made that statement, he was trying to tell the Jews and his, and his disciples that he was God. 
Hallelujah. He said, I am the, I am the great I am that I am. Mm-hmm. Then he went on, not only did he, did he tell them that Moses wrote of, he said, the prophet and the psalm, they all wrote of me. Now let me tell you this is what he said in Isaiah 12, 2 said, that Jehovah is becoming my salvation. And Jesus said he is our salvation. It's not contradicted. Hallelujah. Jehovah is our salvation. He made himself a body and declared that body to be his son. One body, one spirit, and he's the father of us all. Oh, it's tight, but it's right. And if anybody want to call me concerning this matter, you can call me at 601-353-8967. And I have to prove it by the book. Without controversy, First Timothy 3 and 16, without controversy, greatest mystery of God. God was manifested in the flesh. Oh, it's tight, but it's right, Mr. Brooks. Well, we, well, are, we a are a peculiar, peculiar people, people, right? Yes. Why did he call us peculiar people? We are strange people because people don't wonder how we how come our sisters and how come our brothers don't run to the, to the extreme like okay. the world do. We are set aside people. Okay. We came out of the world. So we, we're in the world, but we're not a part of it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We're not a part of it. This type of it is right. Now, in Egypt there, uh, the Lord allowed the Egyptians to bring out the makeup and all of that. Mm-hmm. But he told it, he took, went on to tell them, I'm going to take all this stuff from you because this is worldly. Egypt is worldly. You ain't got no men wearing all of that. Oh, it's tight, but it's right. Before. And then it, and, and, uh, uh, Deuteronomy 22 and 5, mm-hmm. tell a woman, oh, she's just what thing at the time. She said, man, you know, know what britches was made for? Britches was made for the priest. <laughs> for the priest. Okay. Yes, sir. It's tight, but it's right. Mm-hmm. And we're going to, what's up one day, Mr. 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 Book, we're going to talk about homosexuality, okay? Okay, that's a whole that's program. A whole program. That, that's a whole program. Mm-hmm. You got five, five more teaching behind this here. <laughs> yes, sir. It's tight, but it's right. God, just a good God. So before, before you were formed in your mother's womb, womb. I mean, uh-huh. God, God knew God you, knew right? You. Yeah, God knew me. Hallelujah. What God, what God done for me, Mr. Book, I'm going to say this, I hope we don't go off the air. I was in the juke house, and God touched me in the juke house. Okay. okay. I was a party man. Yes, sir. And he took the taste of the beer away. He mm-hmm. took the taste of the wine away. I repented of my sin when I found out that Jesus was God. God put me on a fast. I know nothing about no fasting. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. couldn't eat. Hallelujah. Then the Hebrews uh, 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 11 and 6 says, He that cometh to Christ must believe that he is. And he is a reward of them that diligently seek. Let me explain that he's God. Mm-hmm. Now you come to him believing that he's just a little child on the side. Now the, Jesus taught his apostles 40 days, the same as obtaining the king after he rose from the grave. The apostles, that's when they found out, Matthew, St. John 14, 15, 16, and 17. These are words that Jesus spoke to his apostles after he rose from the grave. Is that something? Well, why did Jesus say to Moses, uh, uh, Wrote of me. Because uh, he was God. M- Moses wrote about the I am that I am. Okay. So the I am that I am, it, he was the I am that I am, but he came manifested in the flesh. Okay. Let me, uh, St. John, the eighth chapter, Jesus brought that up. The Jews said, uh, uh, Jesus said, Abraham rejoiced to see my day. And the Jews looked and said, you ain't 50 years old. He said, Abraham, before Abraham was, I am. Okay. And I am was the one brought the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. He was telling them he was the great I am that I am. And St. John 8 and 24 said, if you don't believe that I am he, I am he now, that I am God, you're going to die in your sin. I ain't no trinity God. I'm a one God. Got one president and one God. Thank you very much, uh, Evangelist David Southern uh, from Jackson, uh, Mississippi. We see that God is everywhere, right? Omnipresent, uh, um, just everywhere, all-knowing, all-powerful, and so so He's the same here in in Waukegan as He is in Jackson, Mississippi. Mississippi. We want to get you on a part two soon. Yes, sir. Uh, so keep your Bible uh, in, in, in your lap there. We're going to get back to you for a, con- a part two. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been Evangelist David Southern on Community Focus. My name is Dr. Wandell Brooks, Sr., your host.